WhatsApp you to photograph a running suit and I'll and this to show you how Bishon you can easily get the best out of your files regarding color grading and how to best process your files to look better, vibrant, nice and attractive. So simply like this video and subscribe this channel if at all you haven't done the two. And if at all you done like in this video, let's proceed with this very image. So this is going to be for people that shoot in raw and are always afraid about getting back or recover recovering the colors during post production or even editing so you can see i'm using camera raw and i'm using the version 13.0 so you can see before and after so this is what i'm going to be achieving by the end of this very tutorial so i'll just come right here and i'll simply come and i reset the image so you can learn how to do it by ourselves so when you're trying to edit your raw photos you first of all have to correct the light and contrast issues regarding your images so in order to correct that we're just simply going to come to the basic panel within the camera raw filter and i'm going to come and take the highlights down then we are going to take the whites down to recover or get away the hot spots in the face area and you can see by just doing that it gets us the image looking better so I'll just come and add contrast to this photo to around 8 because I prefer to shoot the images without any contrast and add it later on in post-production. Then I'll simply come and take down the black slightly and open up the shadows. So when you're trying to open up the shadows, don't take the shadows all the way up because that is going to make the darks or the blacks in the image a little bit pale or look grayish in color. So just be soft when it comes to moving this slider. And that looks okay. So I'll slightly warm up the image because I found out that warming up images tends to make them easy to color grade. So I've slightly taken the white balance to 5400 kelvins. So after doing that, I'm just going to come and add a tiny bit of green tint. So remember the opposite of magenta is green. So by taking the sl slide that was the left hand side, I'm simply eliminating the magentas or reds from the overall image and after creating the basic adjustments i'll simply come the profile so usually when you're taking images you have to first of all understand the picture profile in which you're shooting so if at all you're shooting a raw image that information is going to be baked within that image regarding the colors and simply come right here since i shoot in landscape i'll simply come to profile remember this is for people that shoot in RAW. So when you shoot in RAW, you'll have the option that says profile. So since I shoot in landscape in my camera, I'll just come and change it to Adobe landscape. And you can see the image looks better and it looks vibrant enough. So we started right here and here we are right now. Then what that does, it simply makes the image a little bit oversaturated. So I'll just come to my vibrance and simply take down the vibrance a little bit and also take down the saturation slightly so after we have done that we have now reached this stage that's the before and after we are going to scroll down to the color mixer panel and in this i'm just going to play around with these colors in the background so as you're editing the very first thing you have to do you have to understand what these sliders are going to affect and how they are going to affect the image so luminance is the brightness or darkness of a given color so you can see if i move the green slider you can see it makes the green color in the background either dark or bright so towards the right hand side to 100 it is bright and towards the left hand side which is negative 100 it is dark so that is what luminance basically does then saturation is the intensity of a given color so you can see you can either make the greens oversaturated or desaturate them according to your taste and preference of color grading and hues basically when you're moving the hue slider we're simply making that color that we are targeting look like a color on top of it or beneath it so for example the greens you can see if at all i move this was the right hand side i'm making the greens look like a color below it which is the aquas and the opposite is going to make the greens towards the yellows so basically that is how hue works 
So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to first of all play around with the green slider because I'm just going to make the greens more on the aqua side and make the yellow still on the aqua side but that is going to make the greens a little bit oversaturated so i'll just come to the intensity of that color and desaturate it slightly and i'll do the same for my oranges so that the model can stand out in this case so i'll come back to the hue slider and since i have some reds or magentas in the skin tone i'll simply come to the red slider of the hues and make the reds a little bit more on the orange side to eliminate the magentas from the skin tone and i'll add a tiny bit of yellows towards uh, the oranges just like that and now the image looks better then after we have done that the next thing is going to be coming all the way down to luminance and slightly darkening the skin tone a little bit so that it can look better and contrast it then we're going to come down to color grading and under color grading you can add a given color to a specific area of the image regarding midtones, shadows and highlights. So we have the midtones, highlights and shadows. So for example, if at all I wanted to add a given color, for example, a blue color to the midtones, click in the middle right here and drag this accordingly. You can see the closer it is towards the center, the less of that color and the closer it is towards the circumference of the circle, the more intense that color is going to be. So basically that is how this is going to be working. So for this case, I'll just come and add some tiny bit of oranges to my midtones, just a tiny bit. That is okay. And I'll add a tiny bit of the greens to my highlights just like that to kind of complement uh, the skin tone so this looks okay and this looks great so you can see this is the image before and this is the after before after so when you feel like the image is a little bit too warm for your liking you can come back to the basic panel and simply take down the temperature and do it to your taste so i think that looks okay so this is the before after before and after so this is how you can easily color grade the image in camera or even lightroom so after doing that you can simply come and hit open to open the image into photoshop and i have a skin retouching tutorial for beginners that is going to take you in depth and you understand every concept about skin retouching and color grading in photoshop using frequency suppression so this is it for this video and if at all you have loved this, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. See you yet more amazing trials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.